The East Village of Manhattan is what we like to call a historically cool neighborhood. Home to lots of street art, great architecture, and it's the birthplace of punk music. We're gonna take you all around this neighborhood, show you some dope spots, just generally share the vibes with y'all in Gusto Nation. So make sure you finesse that like button. If it's a day that ends in a Y, you know I gotta start it out with coffee. So this morning in the East Village, we made a stop to Le Fin Coffee, found via our amazing research of New York City. And you know as coffee lovers, it's our moral obligation to go to each and every cafe that's rated above 4.6 on Google. This morning I got the traditional Vietnamese pour over coffee. And then so once again got the PHO latte, that's honey, oat milk, and Fin Coffee. Inside it's a very chill atmosphere. If you wanna get some work done, some reading, or even some some light reflection on the previous night's events, come to Lafine Coffee because they set it up with nice spa music and it's just very gentle, they're very friendly in there. But it's all about the coffee for me, right? Because I'm not trying to relax, I'm trying to be out exploring, filming, you know, entertaining y'all before y'all click to another video. So cheers. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think that they had the custom cups last time we were here. So cheers to the East Village. One of the food institutions in East Village is Tompkins Square Bagels. I personally love bagels. Now growing up in South Florida, as I've said to Gus Donation before, I ate bagels a lot. I just remember my dad going to the bagel shop on the weekends, coming back with a bag, a dozen bagels, all kinds, Asiago, sesame, poppy seed, everything, plain, onion. It was just delightful because we got to eat bagels almost every day. Now they weren't mind blowing bagels, definitely not what you're gonna find in New York, but probably better than what we currently can find in Chicago. There are some bagel shops here and there and they tend to put New York in their name but honestly, they're just okay bagels. Compare that with Big Apple. This is one of the iconic foods. You know, we covered it in our Iconic Foods film. You're pretty much not gonna go wrong with a bagel in New York, whether you get it from a food cart or an institution like Tompkins Square Bagels. This is the Lox Deluxe Bagel Sandwich on a sesame seed bagel. Bon Appetit. Mm. Mm. Delicious. I think it goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Tompkins Square Bagels gets my five diamond award. One of the things that I truly love about New York culture is the fact that you can grab incredible, iconic food and take it a few steps to a park so you can enjoy it. And you see other people doing the same. I'm sorry to say, but that's not really a thing in Chicago. I'm not saying you can't do it, but most of the iconic restaurants, when you go, people are driving there to get the food and then bring it home. You know, it'd be great if around Millennium Park, there was, you could grab a slice of tablet style pizza or a great Italian beef and then take it to the park to enjoy. But it's just not really something that people do. If I were to marry Chicago, I would make that mandatory for all parks to have iconic restaurants surrounding them. Yeah, besides that, the, obviously the bagel's phenomenal. Uh, the fish itself is, is good. Uh, what I like about the Tompkins Square bagels in particular is that they're the right amount of chewy. I don't usually like a place where you could order 50 different things off the menu, but in this case, they do it right. <laughs> and it's great to see them making the bagels. It's, it's truly like a factory in there pumping out delicious, chewy breakfast goodness. Here's an NYC hack for you. Order two bagels, one with cream cheese, one without. Then you got two bagels with cream cheese. I should have done that today. Here is my sourdough bagel. I ordered it with scallion cream cheese. Here we go. Ever since the last time we came to Tompkins Square Bagels, I was dreaming about trying their scallion cream cheese. If you remember, I got the deluxe salmon lox bagel last time. This is what I was looking for today. 
Tompkins Square Park is a must visit in East Village, Manhattan. It is a cornerstone of the neighborhood and it reminds us of the squares in London, like Soho Square, except on a much grander scale. London already had a few centuries under its belt when city planners started to realize, hey, I think we need to put some green spaces in our urban neighborhoods. Whereas in New York City, they kind of took that cue from London and was like, ah, oh, we're gonna make it much bigger. Now, of course, over the decades, Tompkins Square Park has had its ups, it's had its downs. I mean, haven't we all? But right now, I would say it's on a high. They've got a beautiful dog run. Rowdy hasn't visited yet, but he's been asking. There are lots of places to grab food and eat it here at the park, like Sonny and Annie's Deli, Tompkins Square Bagels. So it's great, yeah. How's that shot? We are in Astor Place here in East Village, Manhattan. It's a short two block street, of course, named for John Jacob Astor. There's also an Astor Street in Chicago. It's similarly a small street named after the same dude, even though he actually never set foot in Chicago. But that's okay, because he actually never set foot in Astoria, but they named that part of the city after him anyway. It's a nice area. There's the Cooper Union College around here. And actually, now that I think about it, East Village is the 10th New York City neighborhood film that we're putting together. So that's quite a milestone because a lot of people did not believe that we could do content in New York City, nor did they believe we could do it in London. But now when I log into the channel every day, I see that it's among the hottest content on our channel and bringing in a lot of new subscribers. So if you are a member of Gusto Nation that found us through our London content, let me say welcome and cheers. Uh, oh my mama. I'ma need all them commas, tell them I'll start that drama Long term smoke like an all day sauna Fry with the f***s on none Feel like my lungs and I'm feeling like y'all too man I don't care what y'all do, better have my check with enthusiasm Finna make a cool get moody Yeah, them on my whole trip, I'm an expedition Play it once, better get an extra listen Cool as an unused pillar side, we vilify but we still a ride and ain't Let me tell you about our incredible lunch at Raku NYC they actually have two locations here and one in Toronto. The executive chef grew up cooking udon to support his family and now he brings this trademark style of Japanese noodle to New York City. That looks good. There you go. I got the oyaku dan. It's gonna be too hot for me to eat, but it looks so good. Simple, minimalistic, but modern. I got the donburi rice bowl with chicken, onion, egg. The flavors were clean and simple and it's a type of bowl I would order after a nice workout. This is the second udon restaurant we've tried in New York now. It's another one of our favorite types of restaurants to try. Service was good, good vibes inside like I said, and we would definitely return. Yeah, I'll be honest, Georgian is in Gagging my nine. This is honest to say that I've been feeling a line and out of ya. Staying up and out of the chance and nigga Peter up the Goku Chani and Uncle Jim. Now I'm sprung, running through my head, Neo Pen, what they draw. She got up the go hard, think I gotta go. You ain't even gotta tell me twice. So you're fancy, funny how you win my life. Good day, EJ, Kungu Magiana, who do you mean that? Think about her strip down. We're at Ching Fu Tang for some afternoon tea. Of course, we do boba on this channel a lot. And it's not our first Taiwanese boba shop that we've been to. We go to Hello Jasmine over in Chicago. Today though, I went with the mango passion fruit green tea. There is I got the oolong tea with boba. I didn't get boba in mine because we've been chewing bagels and chewing noodles. I'm done chewing for the day. I need something easy. So I got light ice, light sugar. It's so good and it's got the right amount of caffeine that I need for this time of day. Cheers.
East Village is located in downtown Manhattan. We took the L train from Williamsburg and got off at the First Avenue station. It's a great neighborhood with lots of incredible restaurants, so we're definitely gonna be coming back here again and again. And like I mentioned earlier, this is our 10th New York City neighborhood film that we're producing. We've got hundreds more to go. We're gonna be returning to neighborhoods, really doing our own thing. We got our own lane here in New York. We're not trying to copy anybody else. We're not trying to be like anybody else. All I could be is myself at the end of the day and hope that y'all like it. So make sure you subscribe and we will see you next time. Peace.